Just want to take a moment to cover techniques when it comes to doing the barbell curl. Now, if you've done a few of my programs, I mentioned changing up the grip from a standard shoulder width grip to a close grip and even going out a bit wider. Now, why, why do I make those recommendations? Well, it all has to do with the two biceps heads. Now, biceps, B-I, by means that it's two heads. So you have basically your, your long outer head, and then you have the short head or the inner head of the biceps. Now, when you do a curl with a shoulder width grip, just a standard grip, it basically activates both the long head and the short head or the outer head and the middle head fairly evenly, about 50-50%. The way that you turn your arms when you do the curl changes which head you are going to activate more. Now, you can't isolate the heads. They work together, but it can change the amount that that muscle group, sort of that, well, that muscle head takes on. So when you go with a wider grip on the bar, what happens is your arms turn out to take on that wider grip. So when the arms turn out, it takes on more, the, the, the inner head or short head takes on more of the force. It's just due to the biomechanics involved. When you go to a close grip, something that's about hip width or even closer on the bar, to, to move your hands in, your arms turn in a bit. Now that allows the long head or that outer head to take on more of the weight during the curl. So you can change it up as much as you want, going, going as wide as comfortable. If you've watched Arnold uh, back in the day do curls, you notice he does a lot of wide curls. Some people find that they tend to be stronger with that grip it can do more weight so it allows you to overload the muscle a bit better but beware that the inner head, that short head, might be taking on the load of the weight. What does that mean? Well it just means what area of the bicep you're trying to shape. Now one thing I will, will mention here is that that, you guys have probably seen me do this before, but that long outer head makes up the majority of that biceps peak. So if you're trying to build that biceps peak and the outer thickness of the bicep, you want to use exercises that also focus on that long head, that outer head. So using some close grip curls is going to help to focus more on that curl. So one of the ways that I like to incorporate all these different grips is, personally for me, I find that about a standard grip I can uh, use the most weight, so I'll typically overload my arms at the start when I start doing my curls. I might do, say, four sets, so I'll do maybe two sets with a standard grip with a heavy weight. Then my third set, I'll move in and do a closer grip to hit more of that long head. And then my last or fourth set, I'll go with a wide grip to hit more of that inner or that short head. That's just how I do it. It's up to you. If you want to focus more on that outer head, you can start right off the bat doing close grip curls when you start your, your, your sets of barbell curls. I would recommend doing at least one regular whip or regular width or wider to hit to also incorporate more of the short head just so you have equal development in the biceps. And then as you just saw me do, uh, you know, I was trying to talk about different sets but I was actually doing one set there. You can all actually kind of do like a rest pause which I was just doing right there. Do a couple, use a weight that you can get say 10 reps, do a couple sets with one grip, 
put the bar down, give yourself about 10 seconds, switch up the grip uh, to a different one. If you wanted to do that, I would probably recommend starting wide, doing a few reps, pause, go to a middle grip, shoulder width grip, pause, and then finish with a wider grip. If you find that you're stronger with a wider grip, that'll allow you to keep what I call my extended sets for those of you who have tried my uh, MED training, know that that's a great way to continue that set going long after you've already failed. But give these little tips a try next time you train biceps. For more great tips like this, be sure to check out all my other videos, articles, and of course all the programs here at jimstepani.com.